So how did your father lure you back from the Boston area to Kansas to work for him, which you didn't think was probably going to be that much fun? Well, I told, the first time he asked me, I, sa I said, Pop, no, I got, I got my career ideas and I want to be independent. And, and so he called me back and he said, son, uh, as you know, my health is poor. It's so poor that I'm not really able to lead the company anymore and it's not doing well and I don't have long to live. So either you come back to run it or I'll sell it and I'll let you run this business that, that you already own an interest in that makes fractionating trays uh, any way you want to start with. And the only thing you need my approval on is to sell it. And I said, well, I don't, wow. I said to myself, I don't think I'm gonna get a better opportunity than this. So I came back and he was absolutely true to his word. He, he totally turned it over to me and then got me in the other businesses. And I was able to contribute from the beginning, but I still didn't feel whole. So everybody who's watching this will want to know, how do you take a 12 million revenue company to roughly 120 billion revenue company without going public? What is the key secret to doing that? Well, the secret was that, that I was, as I said, I didn't feel I was fully using my capabilities. So I read everything I could from all different, all relevant disciplines, all different perspectives to find principles that I could use and apply in the business and my life to enable me to believe in myself. And I started to apply them in business and they worked. They worked beyond my belief and beyond anything I hoped for. And that absolutely transformed my life. And so my whole life has been looking for principles that will enable me to contribute uh, or improve the, the principles we're implying and better apply them. And, and so every day is like I'm reborn. Okay, and you've said over your dead body will this company ever go public, is that right? Well, I, I didn't mean that literally, but uh, okay. but, but you're, not ten, you're not intending to take it public, right? No, no absolutely. No, it's uh, I don't. We couldn't have done what we did if we were public. I don't believe.